the federal guidance from the CDC is that before you start reopening, the state and the regional hospitalization rate ha must be in decline for 14 days, okay? That's the CDC's guidance. The federal government leaves it up to the states. It's up to the governors, up to the governors, but they also give guidance. And in this case, I think the CDC guidance is right. So we're monitoring the hospitalization rate. We're monitoring the regional hospitalization rates. We said in this state, it's a very diverse state. Upstate regions are like states in the Midwest, even out west. And we have very different hospitalization rates, so we look at the rates all across the state as well as across the regions. We're going to reopen in phases, look at the regional analysis, make a determination, and then monitor whatever you do. Phase one of reopening will involve construction, construction and manufacturing activities. Uh, and within construction and manufacturing, those businesses that have a low risk. Phase two would then be more a business-by-business -business analysis using the matrix that we've discussed. How essential a service does that business provide? And how risky is that business? In phase two, when we get there, we need businesses to do that analysis. They have to think about how they're going to reopen with this quote unquote new normal. Then we're going to leave two weeks between phases so we can monitor the effect of what we just did, right? The pause is statewide until May 15th, right? Then you have the CDC guidance that says hospital Total hospitalization is declining for 14 days, okay? So we get to May 15th. What regions have seen a decline for 14 days? Well, we're assuming we will have seen a decline in the state for 14 days. Uh, but what states, uh, what regions of the state have seen a decline for 14 days? That's where you will start the conversation to get to phase one in that region the regions that would be more likely able to open sooner would be the upstate regions. You take like central New York, you take the North Country, you take the Mohawk Valley. Uh, those regions have seen lower numbers from day one. Downstate New York is going to be more complicated. Uh, you can't do anything in New York City that you don't do in Suffolk, you don't do in Nassau, you don't do in Westchester. You can't do anything in downstate that we don't do in coordination with uh, primarily Connecticut and New Jersey. Coordination does not mean total consistency, but it does mean coordination. We have to know if we're doing something different. Uh, we've had issues where certain activities were open in Connecticut, and you saw many New York license plates in the Connecticut parking lot. Uh, we opened beaches in New York City, but Jersey doesn't open beaches, you'll see New Jersey people at our beaches. So you won't be in lockstep, but before we do anything, I want to make sure we know what we're doing because uh, you'll see people react to different activity levels in different communities. Conceivably, you, you could see manufacturing and construction start to come online in certain upstate regions after May 15th. With certain precautions after May 15th, yeah. We are New York tough and smart and disciplined and unified and loving and because we know that we can.